From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday Stump Stories, it's underway. Vaccination against the coronavirus. Around 60 healthcare workers taking the shot at the Princess Margaret Hospital on the first day of the rollout. And it continues today. Governor John Will Smith is among those expected to take the shot today. And former Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands is scheduled to get his shot on Friday. Despite what is going on in Europe, healthcare officials are maintaining that the AstraZeneca vaccine that we're using is safe. And they're urging people to get the right information before making any decision. This is Dr. Antonio Colley's advice to the public. Get the true information and not the anecdotes and not the reports. And so really look at the statistics, look at the worldwide statistics in terms of what's happening with each vaccine, with, with, with everything that, um, that you have to take, uh, vaccination, medication. We want people to have the information that they need to make that decision. And there is more support for the vaccine. The Pan American Health Organization is urging countries to continue continue to use the AstraZeneca vaccine, concluding that the benefits outweigh the potential risk. Health officials are not sure about the number of persons who've registered to take the shot so far. More information on vaccination sites expected to come in time, and it's not clear when Grand Bahama will begin to vaccinate people. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. So why did a group of prison officers line up outside the Ministry of National Security yesterday? Well, it's about a number of things, including money. We've been very patient. Um, we've understood Hurricane Dorian, we've understood COVID, but when you're gonna tell us that there's no funding because of uh, COVID-19 and Hurricane Dorian, but give our brothers and sisters um, in law enforcement their due diligence, you need, you need to give us what is due to us also. Staff Association President Harvey Coleman told the media they're tired of years of what they call disrespect. The officers with some high profile support members of the DNA among those supporting. And staff members at ZNS are upset about what they're calling a pay cut. Some of them walked off the job yesterday to protest. ZNS officials say a statement will be released on what is going on at the government's broadcast facility. A growing problem. Social Services Minister Campbell reporting that between January last year and February this year, more than 380 cases of child abuse were reported, neglect and sexual abuse the most common types. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Mostly sunny again today. Highs from the low to mid-80s. 80 at Freeport, 82 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. There's a low tide now. The next high around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines are concerning coronavirus trend now developing in the U.S. At least 14 states are now reporting increasing cases, even as vaccination of millions of persons continue. Health officials there are worried that large spring break gatherings in Texas and Florida could trigger another surge. Meantime, in Brazil, the healthcare system there is said to be at the breaking point with record numbers of cases. Officials say the system is at disaster level. Tension building between Russia and the U.S., the Russians demanding an apology after President Biden classified Russian President Putin as a killer in a TV interview. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 452, SO 452, Rubis $4.52 per gallon in the capital, no changes. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Read about the passing of former Major League Baseball player Ed Armbrister. The Tribune Sports has the report. And the latest on Jazz Chisholm, who's making a strong bid to start for the Marlins in Major League Baseball. 
A spring training continues. There's a John Quo Jones update in the Tribune Sports. She's playing in Europe. And the latest on the NBA also. And a British soccer update is in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.